Hi everyone, I'm Mike Lewis and in today's lesson I'm gonna show you how you can Photoshop yourself into a Venom. So, let's start it. So the first step, we are going to a Google, Google Images and type Venom poster and find a picture which we can use it. I'm gonna go with this one, just uh, find it in a bigger quality. Okay, you can see I've got this poster in a bigger quality. It's 2000 by 3000 pixels, so it's good enough for us to work on this. So, this is the first step. And the next step, which I already have, is to prepare a head. Uh, I'm gonna use this head. So, uh, we have to start with making a selection of this head. So let's use the pen tool and let's start by uh, placing some points around it. You can zoom in and zoom out with Alt and scroll on the mouse. And just remember we need also a neck to blend it later with the original poster. So let's just close our selection and click the right button on the mouse and select make selection. And then click OK and then click this button here to create a mask. And then you can see that everything just disappears and we only have a head and our poster. Let's apply the mask. And now the next step is to create a mask for this Venom here. We want to delete this head uh, and put our new head here and keep the, this substance uh, which Venom is cr creating from his head uh, on our new head. So we need to select again the pen tool and we need to select every 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 piece of this black uh, substance. So it's gonna take a bit of time. I'm gonna speed up the whole process. Okay, so you can see that my selection looks something like this. I just spent about 10, 5, 10 minutes selecting every, every piece of this black substance. And then if we, if we have it, we just press the mask button on the group and then we've got the mask. And to see our mask, let's just place a new layer and then just the white color to see how the mask looks. Okay, so now we can put our head here like this and let's see what the placement should we keep for this head. Let's just make it a bit bigger. Ctrl T is the shortcut for uh, changing the size. Okay, let's keep it like this. And the next step, paint some black color here uh, to make a shadow. So let's just go to adjustments and hue saturation and then create clipping mask. Okay, let's just uh, change the lightness to black, invert the mask with Ctrl I, and then select the brush and just paint with a white color. Okay, the next step should be to match the colors with the background. We can see that there's a lot of blue colors. So let's create the color balance and just play a bit. Okay, something like this. And the next step, let's go to filter, camera row filter, and then let's just play with a values a bit. And go with clarity a bit higher. You can see what's going on. We've got this nice sharpening effect. And let's also add a grain, because our original poster has also a grain, so it's gonna look better. Yeah, you can see that it looks a bit better right now. The next step 
deleted the hair from Tom Hardy on this poster. So we can use the, the same technique as I showed you before in the previous tutorial. So let's just use the clone stamp tool. Okay. Uh, we can also use the same technique uh, to correct the hair a bit, uh, like in the previous tutorial, with uh, selecting a leaves brush and just brushing a, the hair a bit to make making some some details. Okay, let's select again a soft round brush and blend our neck with. Uh, original neck on the poster, so just a soft brush, hardness 0%, and let's just paint it here, and you can see that our neck is blending, blending really well. And let's create a new adjustment layer, again a hue saturation. Okay, let's add a new brightness layer. Increase the contrast a bit. Yeah, and now let's uh, click Ctrl plus left mouse button on the mask. We've got the selection, and then we invert the selection, and then we fill it with black color, and then we don't see it because it's on our, our folder which has a mask. So we just move it to the right. I'm just pressing shift and right arrow. And you can see that now we've got a shadow here beneath the, the substance. Let's just also use the Gaussian blur. Okay. We can change the lightness a bit. Let, let just the hue saturation layer with darkness paint here a bit. Okay, and that would be it for the photoshopping face. We can also give it a small touch with uh, placing our name here. So let's just select the spot healing brush and just delay these few letters. with just clicking with left mouse button on the letters. And you can see the algorithm uh, is doing the rest. So let's just use the Lato font and type any name you want. I'm gonna change the color to white. And that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe to see more of these videos and see you soon for the next tutorial. Bye!